we're going to start with opening our web browser. I already have two tabs open with the machine that we're going to export from and the machine we will import to. We'll start with our export. So we're going to log in, our system manager ID and PIN. And we'll go to settings registration. And under management settings, we'll go to data management. And here we have some various options. And here under data management, we're going to import, export individually. And we'll go to address list. And over here, we can see we have the import export button. We're going to choose export. And here's where we get to choose which address list we're going to export. So we're going to just do address list one. And we'll leave both of these uh, options checked. We'll do custom format. And we'll go ahead and put a password in for our export. and click on the Start Exporting button. As you can see, it, it exports the address list pretty quickly. Um, and we are in Chrome, so our download came here to the bottom. We can see that it's downloaded. We can also open up our File Explorer. We go to our Downloads folder, and we see it here. The default name of the address list will be a book and it'll be an ABK file. So now we have this address book exported to our local machine. So we can go to the import machine, the machine that we want to import this into, and we will log in using our system manager ID and PIN. And then we'll go to settings registration. And under management settings, we'll go to data management. And we're just going to be importing our address list. So under import export individually, we'll go to address list. And this time we will choose the import button. This is where we're going to want to put the address list that we're importing. And you also have a couple import methods. So you can add, which will just add all the new addresses to the already existing address list, or you can delete and override. So you have two options here. We're gonna go with add. And next we are going to go choose our address list file that we just exported. So we'll do choose file. And we can see here, we'll go to our downloads folder. And we can see here, our, here's our address list file that we already exported from our other machine. We just double click on that. As we can see that populates here, abook.abk file format. We left that as custom format. And we'll leave decrypt address list authentication information checked. Since we set up a password for our export, we will go to the password field here and input the password that we chose. And then we'll click up here in the top right, the start importing button. This process may take some time. Is this OK? Yep, that's OK. Click on OK. And now we start importing. We see that it moved very quickly. Our address list went from three to 85 since we imported 82 new address, addresses. And if you go through our address book here, you can see address list one went from three destinations to 85. We imported 82 new destinations.